Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Miss Nina and I am so excited for Storytime. Are you guys ready? Okay, Easter's on its way. To celebrate this week, we are going to be reading books that are all about some cute fluffy bunnies. Okay, our first book is The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd and published by HarperCollins. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. If you become a mountain climber, said a little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you.
If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the little bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Shucks, said the bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. Okay, that was The Runaway Bunny. What did you guys think? Okay, our second book is Nuffle Bunny, written and illustrated by Mo Willems and published by Hyperion. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle flaggle clababble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Aggle flaggle kebabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle plabble, wumpy flappy, snurp. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. She went boneless.
She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Snuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Nuffle Bunny. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Okay, that was Nuffle Bunny. What do you guys think? Have you ever lost a toy? Did you find it? All right, everybody, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. At the library, you can get something called a story time kit, which is a fun-filled activity kit that goes with the books you read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-ups. This week, our craft is this. A paper plate bunny. I think it looks pretty cool. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. Now we have two crates, one for Monday story time and one for Wednesday. So you wanna make sure you grab the right kit or you could end up with something completely different than what I just showed you. The kits for this story time are in the group A crate. They're the red ones. New kit comes out whenever there's a new story time, but we might have some kits from last week if you missed it. It never hurts to ask one of the librarians. Maybe ask for me, Miss Nina. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. And I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit. Bye!